development of embryo sac the development of embryo sac or female gametophyte from the haploid functional megaspore situated inside the new cells of the ovule and it is of three different types namely monosporic bisporic and tetrasporic in case of monosporic only one functional megaspore nuclei is involved in development of a embryo sac it is also known as polygonum type so in case of a monosporic one the megaspore mother cell undergo first meiotic division to give rise to two nuclei later it undergoes second meiotic division resulting in formation of a tetrad and among these four cells the the selagil megaspore the lowermost one that is the selagil one is functional the remaining three degenerate this functional selagil megaspore undergoes mitosis without cytokinesis to give rise to two nuclei which move to the opposite regions and at the opposite regions the nuclei undergoes a mitotic division it results in formation of two nuclei at the polar regions this is the four nucleate stage and later it undergoes one more that is a third mitotic division resulting in formation of four nuclei at the polar region so three uh, totally four nuclei at the selagil region uh, upper region and four nuclei towards the lower region this is eight nucleate stage and now after eight nucleate stage there is no further division and cytokinesis takes place and here one nuclei from each polar region migrate towards the central region and only three nuclei at the polar regions organize to form that is one towards the micropylar region three cells organize into an egg apparatus and among these three egg is in the center surrounded by two synergids and towards the selagil region we come across three antipodal cells so a mature embryo sac is seven celled eight nucleate coming to the bisporic type in case of bisporic type the bisporic embryo sac are typically eight nucleate and it is also known as a alien type the megaspore mother cell divides to form two dyad cells of which the upper one is much smaller and soon degenerate the nucleus of the lower divides to form two and this megaspore with two nuclei enter uh, for the formation of the embryo sac and here the development of embryo sac only need two further divisions to give rise to eight nucleate stage the mitotic division produces two pairs of nuclei at micropylar end and one at the selagil end and the second results in two groups of four nuclei at the opposite poles of elongated embryo sac the micropylar quartet dif differentiate into three celled egg apparatus and the upper polar nuclei and the selagil quartet into a group of three antipodals and the lower polar nucleus coming to the tetrasporic type it is also known as fritillaria type here the megaspore mother cell undergoes its first division 
to form a two nucleate stage without the formation of cell wall and at the end of the second division the megaspore is four nucleate condition next there is 1 plus 3 arrangement of megaspore nuclei so that the three cellular nuclei come to lie very close to each other during the next stage the micropylar nucleus divide normally but the cellular spindles fuse to form a single common spindle so that at the close of division there are two haploid nuclei at the micropylar end and two triploid nuclei at the cellular end one more division occurs resulting in eight nuclei of which the four cellular nuclei are triploid and four micropylar or haploid the mature embryo sac therefore consists of three haploid cells namely the egg and two synergids and three triploid cells that is the antipodals and a tetraploid secondary nucleus formed by the fusion of two polar nuclei one haploid and the other one is triploid one more division occurs resulting in eight nuclei of which the four cellular nuclei are triploid and four micropylar or haploid the mature embryo sac therefore consists of three haploid cells that is egg and two synergids three triploid cells and a tetraploid secondary nucleus formed by the fusion of two polar nuclei one haploid and other triploid thank you